What's up, Wizards? It's Dev from SBMTG. Today, I thought I'd do something cool. Um, I'm going to do a couple of these simulated sealed events for Oath of the Gatewatch. Uh, Pre-release coming up in just a couple of days. And don't worry, still going to do a pre-release primer, so that's, that's coming up. But I thought it'd be fun to go to MTG Mirror, that's the site I use for this um, simulation thing here, and try and open up a couple of packs and see what we get. Um, down here, you'll see as you go to the site, Draft Simulator and Sealed Simulator, I've done a couple of both. Um, I, we'll, I, I'm not really totally sure about draft yet, but um, let's let's click sealed simulator here. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you four packs of Oath and two packs of um, BFZ. It's going to be just what you're going to get at the pre-release. And there's an option here to um, include the promo, and it is checked. We will include the promo here because um, you know you get a promo card when you go to pre-release. So let's open these boosters. It's going to arrange them from rare to uncommon down to common. So let's see. Um, what all of our rares are here as we open these packs. <laughs> I hope that's what I open. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. All right. So we got a foil Eldrazi Displacer, an Ulamog, and an Oath of Gideon. So we're obviously, um, we're in white. <laughs> I think that that's, that's definitely going to happen um, in this seal. Wow. That's, we got some pretty junk rares aside from that. In a Prisma Ray, Azada has to have a lot of... A lot of combat tricks to work. Matter Reshaper is really good. Hedron Alignment's unplayable, and then Remorseless Punishment is, is playable. But we'll see if we get the black cards for that. I'm definitely gonna play Ultrasa Displacer. Let's click that. Let's click Oath. We're definitely gonna play Ulamog. We're gonna try to make that work as much as we can. And then Matter Reshaper, which can hit um, Oath or the um, Eldrazi Displacer. That's that's pretty cool. Um, so what else? Let's see. I'm gonna refrain from putting Punishment in just yet. I, I mean, I haven't seen any other black cards. So. We know we're in white though, <laughs> so that's cool. Um, some of these uncommons are mediocre at best, uh, but I got a bushwhacker. That's not bad. A couple of these are solid, honestly, but like rep weapon strainer and an equipment right after that. So, you know, maybe, but I doubt it. Um, I will use, um, Chitinous Cloak. I'll play that, guaranteed. Step Glider, I'll probably play. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put that in. Um, so, you know, two, four flyer for five, it, and it, it puts counters on stuff, I believe. So that's, that's a thing. Um, Flank Tendrils and Zulport Cutthroat are both very good cards while we're looking at black cards. So there's that. Here's a glut of red stuff, and some of it's not bad. Um, well, really, Zada's Commando is the standout card. Retreat to Valkyrie's fine. It, it is, especially when you get two of them. Um, but we have to be like really heavily aggro oriented, and obviously we're trying to find like creatures with enter the battlefield effects so we can flicker them, and we're trying to get to our um, Ulamog. So that's cool, and we, we do have Oath. So that's at least creates tokens. This also creates some um, ally tokens. Unified Front does. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, but I haven't seen too much that I just automatic include right now. Um, I know we're in white, so any, any white stuff we can look out for. Some solid green here. Two of the um, six drop six five, and then netcaster spider. Those are both fine. Elemental uprising also good. It's the thing that makes one of your lands a four four till end of turn. It's like kind of removal. Um, I really like the Juru Path Warden too in limited. So um, expedition raptor is fine. You know support two is okay. I just hate that it's five mana for two two, but it does fly. Um, Isolation Zone is removal. We'll definitely play that. Sky Climber seems really good. Um, probably going to play at least one, but I'll go ahead and add both copies and we'll come back to that. Mighty Leap is a very good limited combat trick. We'll do that. Shoulder to Shoulder I like, but we'll come back on that. Um, Spawnbinder Mange is a cohort um, tap target creature, so that's maybe. We'll see. Um, haven't seen like a whole lot of blue that com that really stands out to me. Cosmic Pathfinder is probably good if we were able to pull off like a big Eldrazi thing. But we haven't. It doesn't seem like we haven't gotten too much of the stuff that helps us produce colorless mana. So that's that's kind of lame. But we don't specifically need it for Ulamog, so that's good. Um, here's some solid black cards. Tarsineer's removal, and then the Slaughter Drone are fine. Two drops that you can give Death Touch to. So that's good. Um, oh, Kozilek's Channeler, that will help produce Colas, and it's a 4-4 body for 5, that's not bad. Um, aside from that, let's see, Fortified Rampart, maybe, um, I would have much rather gotten the wall that costs one more and is a 0-6 and gives you a 3-3 land guy, that's cool. Um, and that is everything, so we didn't get an incredibly strong pool, Smite the Monsters, by the way, is automatically playable, um, especially in this environment, it's good to move. So we'll do that, um, I'll probably play Rampart. To be honest with you, Felidar Cub is not terrible. Probably, probably play that, but let's see. Um, our card pool right now is 14. We're looking for probably 22. We want to get to Ulamog again. So, and I know it's just one rare, but it's that's that's a really <laughs> important, powerful card um, that we definitely want to play. So, what is our secondary color? We've chosen nothing but white cards here, so this is pretty important. 
Um, we only have like the one equipment that I really want to play here. So weapons trainer is pretty much right out. But we, there is some there is some other good um, red. Uh, Stone Fury is fine removal. Um, Stone Sure Strike is a fine um, combat trick. That's not bad. Velican Invoker, good in the long game. So there's that. Um, Kozilek Sentinel is okay for playing a lot of colorless. Um, so that's that's not bad either. What what other red cards do we get in the uncommon or the the commons for that BFC pack? That's right. We got the two retreats. And then we got these things. You know, Zodas Commando is okay. I just I don't know if we're Really ready to play red, you know. Um, maybe I will try black. Now, Walker the Waste is... We didn't get any waste, which kind of sucks. Sometimes you will. Um, that's that's not great. Um, so I do like Remorseless Punishment. I think that's a bomb card. So we're going to try and play black here and see how that works out for us. Um, probably Zillaport Cutthroat, Playing Tendrils. These are all all-star cards. And we'll have to probably fine-tune the deck to their presence. Um, Alpha, Alpha Protector is actually not bad. Um, vigilance on a on a four toughness. There is one waste, by the way. A vigilance on a four toughness guy is pretty good. Um, honestly, ooh, I'm crumbling vestige too. But that's not bad considering we're trying to get sort of into the late game here. Oh, and I wanted to play green too. Should I play green or black? What other black cards should we get? You know, we got the two slaughter drones. It's good. Tarsan is really good removal. I think, I'd, yeah, I just I really like these removal cards, so I'd probably do that. And remorseless punishment is. Such a great there's a relentless punishment, I always forget. Such an amazing bomb. I'm totally gonna play that. Vampire Envoy, also a 1-4 flyer. I really like the defense available to us here. We're gonna play sort of turtley. There's another piece of removal we can use. So we're probably very close here. Yeah, 24, so we'll have to cut it down slightly. Um, but just let's do a once over, as always, you know. Make sure we didn't miss anything incredibly stand out. Um, I don't like either, any of these, it may be this, but I'm not sure how many allies are playing, we'll have to double check that. I, I do know that the one fours um, in both colors that we put in the deck, I believe they're both allies, I want to say, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, it's a fine card in like Stalemate, Zillaport, Chain Mage, so that's not bad. Um, these aren't incredibly standout, Shoulder to Shoulder is a decent combat trick. Um, Expedition Raptor is a good card, oh, we didn't put Aft Protector in, so that's good. We've, we've actually got... A pretty good um, spread of cards. Then I would say that means we could put Walker of the Wastes in, but again, it only works um, for how many wastes you control, and we only got like the one waste. So, but we could play it. I mean, it's not it's not a bad body. Um, let's see here. We could take Mighty Leap out. We're not like really aggro oriented or anything. We got a lot of um, really high casting cost stuff. To be honest with you, um, our curve is fine though. We got some two and three mana stuff. It'd be all right. Um, so yeah, I'm actually. I'm liking the direction that we're taking with this deck, but I want to cut at least two cards. Let's see, maybe, maybe, um, Step Glider. We're not putting plus one plus one counters on a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a Splashable Flyer, and it does have Vigilance. I, I like a lot about the card. Um, let's see, Matter of Shaper is probably okay. We got, let's see how many things can reshape or hit other than lands. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve. That's plenty for Matter Reshaper. Um, plus all the lands. So yeah, that's that's fine. Um, I'll probably yeah. I'll, I'll start by taking out Mighty Leap. Um, I think we're probably fine as far as combat tricks go. It's we're really defense oriented. Yeah, combat tricks help there too. Be fine in like a slaughter drone early game. Take out a huge guy. That's fine. But I just I think it's sort of limited in use. That's not the way we want to go. Um, Win all at once, probably. I know Oath of Gideon looks like it could probably come out, honestly, but I, I do like the early game sort of going wide. That's fine, but it is at odds with some of the things we're playing. So there's that. Um, what do you think? It might be Oath of Gideon, you guys. It, it just might be, actually. I might take out a Slaughter Drone, um, maybe a Vampire Envoy, perhaps. I can see doing that. It's a tough choice. Or I might just play. Um, just 17 lands, but we really got to get to that Ulamog. <laughs> so we got a, a, a fairly high curve all in all here, which I think is going to be standard sort of for how this set looks. So let's take out probably, I think a Slaughter Drone, because, you know, this is a 2 mana 2-2, two, two, and we don't have a whole lot of ways to get that colorless mana, so I, I don't think it's that important. Um, and we have some removal just like the turn after that. We should be okay. So what we're going to do here is we are playing... Um, black and white, which is a really fine color combination. I've always liked that. Um, we have 18 land slots here, so let's take a look. We're going to play Mortuary Mire. It's a fantastic card. 
I think that's the only other limited land I really want to play. Waste is sort of... I don't, I don't know if we even have a real reason to play the Waste. I want to double-check that, but I'm, I'm fairly certain that we don't have, like, a true reason. I guess Matter of Shaper, we have to do that. Um, other than that... Let's see... Yeah, I mean, Slaughter Drone, you know. So let's let's play the Waste, just the one. And the Crumbling Vestige as well, because that will also give us the colors that we need. Crumbling Vestige and the Waste. So we have 15 um, land slots. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 white cards, and one of them has a double mana symbol. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in our ancillary color. That's weird. Our ancillary color became our better color, or our more populous color. Um, nine black cards, and two of them have um, double mana symbols. So let's see. What did I say? We had like 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think is the split that I'm going to do there. Um, so our white cards are really, really important. Um, so, let's go on up her and do try a test hand. You can do that here. You can't um, play on this side yet. I think you can maybe export them to S -Mage. X Mage. You probably do that, or I think X Mage just might have this feature. Um, this is our first test hand here, which is actually fine. Um, I'd probably go ahead and just you know third turn. Let's draw a card here. Yeah, third turn we can play our Vampire Envoy, so we're set up with that. We can check this Cloak It, which is actually not bad at all. We'll have a, um, what, a 3-5 Flying Menace <laughs> on the fourth turn. It could be worse. Um, and then the next turn we can follow it with Demon's Grasp. But let's draw a couple more cards so we can get to that turn. Um, Tar Snare is fine removal. We are sort of flooding here. Kozilek's Pathfinder and the, the lands to play it. That's, that's pretty good, honestly. Um, but hopefully we won't flood too much, which we are. Look at those lands right there. Step glider. So we are a few turns into the game here. We probably we'd realistically get this far unless we were against like hardcore aggro. And I just want to draw a couple more cards and see what happens. Yeah. So that's like not an incredibly stellar game. So I'm gonna do one more hand here just to test things out. Um, one, two, three, four in the opening hand. Yeah, this is a fine opening hand actually. We play creature or removal on um, turn three just in the opening hand. We have two different creatures to play on turn three. Um, they're both the same creature, but you know we have two of them. That's good. Oh, and another turn three play. So it looks like we um, probably would need to fill out the curve a little bit just on the second turn. We need to be able to do something there. Um, but aside from that, it looks like we get going on the third turn. God, stop flooding. Um, Let's see, go down, Demon's Grasp. Let's draw like three more cards to see how long we can go with this game. Flank Tendrils would probably help. Um, and just Flood, God. Haven't like drawn a single decent rare other than like uh, Punishment. And Remorseless Punishment, by the way, would have been like a huge bomb, definitely. <laughs> so oh, there's our rule mod. Do we have the lands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> that would have been enough unless we got, you know, our lands died for some reason. So. Yeah, not terrible. Um, could have gone slightly better, I would say. So I'm going to do um, one more here. Because that's always fun. And let's try it out. Sealed Simulator. And let's go back up. And you can very easily just go to Open Boosters again. It's it's that simple. So let's Open Boosters and try a different sealed pool just to see what all we get. Holy crap! <laughs> hopefully, again, hopefully this happens at the pre-release. This seems unrealistic, but that's... Wow, um, we got a foil Kozilek's return, and then a regular Kozilek's return. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're definitely playing red. Um, <laughs> it's a freaking guarantee. Blight Herder is fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Um, wow. Oh, I can't believe that. Needle Spire is a fine land. Seagate Wreckage will definitely play. Um, that's, that's good stuff already. Bearer of Silence and Woodland Wander are both amazing cards. <laughs> we'll come back... Um, so I think that's going to put us, whichever one we pick is going to put us into our second color, which is definitely going to be black. We'll play red and black here. He's got a bear of silence. Um, I'll probably play press into service. I'll come back to that. But we also got a flame tendrils and a grasp of darkness. So I really don't, I know this seems weird, but I don't really have to see too much more to know that we're going to definitely play black. We got amazing removal. And we may come back to spatial contortion. Malkir Soothsayer, I think, is actually more than fine um, if we get the allies for it. Rising Miasma, also good. So we got some really 
really playable black card. So there's a Breaker of Armies. That's always good reality. Hemorrhage is definitely, definitely playable. Um, Cinder Hillian and Zada's Commando are both definitely in. Um, Hedron Crawler, yes. Let's see what else. In black and red. So we didn't get too much more support for black and red. And yeah, I'm skipping over some stuff here. We had an awful like a glut of white cards, but none of them were like particularly inspiring. A couple of good blue cards in Gravity Negator, a pair of those here. I'm not particularly inspired by um, Contained Membrane. The comparative analysis is fine. Um, Oblivion Strike is very, very good. This is going to be like super removal heavy deck. Um, Shrieker, I do like Kozilek Shrieker, so I'm going to play at least one, if not two. Slaughter Drone, yes. Um, let's see, you know, here's some decent red stuff. Metal Drone I might actually play. Um, Kozilek Sentinel, ditto. So, yeah, McKinney Slide Runner is in. That's a guarantee. Um, I like Velikit Predator as well. Not a bad three drop. We'll do that. Um, and yeah, that's all the cards here. So I didn't, I didn't see too much more that's like, we have to absolutely definitely play it in the other colors. So I'm going to use Valakid Invoker. Don't do that. Uh, Invoker. Um, just got to show a recruit, Skull Recruit. God. <laughs> um, Consuming Sinkhole I might play. Um, yeah, I'll probably play that. Nettle Drone and Belligerent Whiptail. These are all actually more than fine. Do no Shrieker. Let's bring the curve down just slightly here because I do feel like, again, the curve is fairly high. But we do have um, Zadis Commando. We've got, like, the black um, two-drop. Even though our curve is fairly high, I've already said that. Malakir Soothsayer is more than solid. I just like the body on it, you know. 4-4 four, 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 five is, is more than fine and sealed, at least. It's good to go that high. And then pressing the service, I think, will maybe side for now. Although I do like you get the support off of it no matter what, so that's good, too. Um, we'll have to see. Brute Strength is a good combat trick. So let's let's look at what we have so far down here we have 21 cards um see did i put breaker of armies in i should if i didn't um so let's call it 22 and again i'll probably put play um 18 lands here very likely you know we got blight herder as a five drop we've got um this thing cinder hellion as a five drop um scatter skull scatter <laughs> shatter skull sells sea sails down by the seashore um recruit Probably put that in. So that's that's a bunch of five drops. Aside from that, really, it's just like five drops and then like one other like big thing in Breaker. I don't even have to play Breaker really. Like we could probably just play twenty three land or um twenty three cards, and be fine. I don't know that I absolutely have to play Breaker. You let me know if that's a silly decision or not. Um, hate man is an awful lot though. I will play um Sky Scour, and uh probably Nettle Drone. Although Kozilek Sentinel is also not bad, but I'm. Trying for a sort of colorless-ish theme. That's why we're going to play Spatial Contortion. Definitely doing that. So it looks like I'm going to have to cut a card here. Which may be Flaying Tendrils, depending on what, what we look like here. Um, like Blight Herder, we're not really... Let's see. These can exile things, so that's good. That's Flaying Tendrils exiles things, so Blight Herder is probably worth it. Um, let's see. It's a card we can cut. Probably Consuming Sinkhole. That's a that's a probably a sideboard option. Although I really like the option of instant speed four to the face. That's that's good. Um, spatial contortion. We absolutely need colorless mana to play. We did. Oh yeah, that's right. Seagate wreckage. Okay, Seagate wreckage is a land, so it doesn't count really towards the card pool here. That's the only land though. Any more lands that we can like produce colorless mana with? We got like one creature that we can do it with, so that's important. Aside from that, we got holdout settlement, which I will play. Um. And Needle Spires, but we're not going to play it. It doesn't produce colors or anything, so... Yeah, oh, and yeah, I see that we did get the Stasis Snare up here. I just don't know that White is... And Rolls Retribution is fine. I just don't think White is supported. Emulating Glare is also good, as far as removal goes. I think it's supported by, like, really solid threats, though. Um, but are we? That's always a question you got to ask, you know. Blight Herder, super solid. Um, see, Cinder Hellion is solid... Scatter Skull, Shatter Skull Recruit. I, I did it. Second try there. Um, we just have a problem with that. Malakir Soothsayer. Maybe we'll have a problem finishing the game here. Um, maybe. I'm not. I'm not totally sure. Now, I did put the Spatial Contortion up. I, I just don't know that we're entirely supported on that. Um, Belligerent Whiptail seems like a pretty fat threat we can play. I'll probably play Breaker at this rate. So that's really reliable <laughs> if you can get it out. Obviously. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye is not bad. Maybe the press. 
I'll play Breaker. I'll just I'll throw a Breaker in. Why not do that? Um, other solid cards that we passed up on here, um, I did say Woodland Wanderer, but I'll say Reflector Mage is a very good card. Um, Immolating Glare was good. Let's see. Stasis Snare, I mentioned that. Three Scion Summoners is actually pretty good. Lone Larva is a more than fine card. Um, so, I, you know, there's some stuff we passed up on. I just don't know that it really justifies, justifies, <laughs> playing those colors. Um, so 25 is our card pool where we've got, what, one, two, three lands, is that right? One, two, hold out sediment was the other one, right? That was it, that was it, that was it. Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me, 23. That gives us like 15 more lands we can play. Let's see here. And I want to look at the spread. That's, um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven red cards, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Black. And they they have similar numbers of um cards we need two mana for. So that's tough. Um, but I'm definitely gonna go with, you know, eight and seven. Um but which one's more important? I think red's probably more important. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's try a test hand. I know we're kind of running high on time here, but you guys are still with me. Um, I might split these into two videos, but maybe not. So our first test hand here, we get two lands and an Hedron Crawler. That ensures a three drop. We also play Zada's Commander on turn two, which I think is good. There's a lot of three, two creatures in this format. Four, three mana. Um, so even on the draw, that's, that's a really good play. Um, so we'll likely have to follow up with the creature that we can first strike it to death with. Um, Slaughter Drone is also good, so we got some good stuff to cover out our curve here, and our three drop will be Kozilek Shrieker here, but let's draw some cards. Um, Bear of Silence is fantastic. Um, definitely wouldn't play it immediately, though. Um, probably just play the Commander, or the Hedron Crawler, even. Because, yeah, I'd play the Hedron Crawler in most situations, and Sealed, at least. Especially if we're on the play. Um, because if we're on the play, they probably haven't played a one drop. We can go ahead and play our Hedron Crawler, ensuring a three drop, because we haven't drawn another land yet. Um, but there's our other land on turn three. That's cool, because now we have four mana on turn three, and we can play um, Bearer of Silence, but we can't actually do the thing with it, which kind of sucks. Um, we could just play, like, Slaughter Drone and Zada's Commando on turn three. That would actually be, yeah, let's do that. We would do that. Slaughter Drone and Zada's Commando on turn three would give us all the initiative. That'd be a really good play, I think. Unless we just got blown out by, like, a Flame Tendrils on the next turn, that would suck. Um, let's draw a card. It's another mountain. Um, that gives us five lands in all. Um, that's not bad. So on turn four, we could play our Blight Herder. Which gives us a good body, plus a couple of more creatures. Like, this actually looks really good. We haven't played our Shrieker yet. We always have the option of doing that. We're getting flooded here in the late game, but there's a Shatter Skull recruit. Nailed it that time. Um, <laughs> got a Mountain. Some McKinney Slide Runner. We've already got all our lands. Velikid Invoker actually starting to look pretty decent because we're getting all these lands. Reality Hemorrhage takes out a guy. That's actually in this removal heavy deck the first straight up removal we've seen, which is kind of surprising. Um, but what that means we should start, yep, drawing into it soon here. There's a Grasp of Darkness, um, another Shrieker. So let's draw, like, three more cards. Two, three, Oblivion Strike. So, yeah, that's not bad. Um, and Kitsumi Sequel might actually help finish for us. So I like this deck more. Red Black looked a little bit better, at least with the card pool we had there. I'll tell you, last night I was, um, I was doing this, and I ended up with a really good red-green deck, or at least it looked like it was a good red-green deck to me. So... Um, that's my two cents for now. I will be releasing Pure Lease uh, Primer, and the other set review videos are coming up soon. Black um, should be up by probably around the same time this video is up or in the, the morning after. So look for that, and I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe. There will be more of these um, seals and probably a draft or two coming up. Um, and so deck techs are definitely, in the next like two or three days, we're going to start doing deck techs. So look for that. Sub if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. I'm Deb from SBMTG. Thanks for watching, my wizards.